the tournament that we got going on right now uh, is a champion chase tournament. So basically all we gotta do is summon. We still have yet to pull a, a five star champion here. So maybe we'll get lucky. Wait a minute, that's a five star? <laughs> Dude, we just gotta fight. Oh my God. What's going on everybody? This child is back at it again, coming at you with another video for Raid Shadow Legends. Once again, I want to extend my thanks to all of you for your continued support over these past few weeks here. Thank you guys so much for continuing to watch my videos. It means a lot to me. And of course, we cannot forget our sponsor for this video, Polaram. Thank you guys so much for your continued support over these past few weeks. Allow me to do what I love to do. So, for those that don't know, okay, if you haven't had a chance to check this game out, okay, I need you to stop what you're doing and check out the YouTube description, okay? I got a link for the new players out there that they can go ahead and use, download, install the game for free so you can get yourself 100,000 silver, 50 gems, one energy refill, and an executioner champion, okay? But disclaimer, it is gonna be for new players, okay? And the link is only gonna be available for 30 days, okay? So make sure that if you're looking to get those rewards, you go ahead and get it downloaded right now, okay? Brace yourself, guys. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. As you can see, I've been working really, really hard getting my account level up here. Level 36 now. It's been about four to five days since we last recorded a video, so I'm pretty excited to share with you some of the things that I've learned thus far. Now, uh, in today's video, we're just gonna be focusing on uh, a couple of things that I really, really think are very, very beneficial for beginners. Uh, the concept of stats versus sets when it comes to artifact. Uh, we're gonna take a look at my current lineup, my main five champions that I've been using to kind of catapult myself uh, through the campaign mode and through some of the dungeons. And then of course, uh, we're gonna go ahead and hop into this tournament because if you guys can see on the top right there, we literally got 10 minutes to get it, uh, get it all set and done. So we're gonna move right through this now. Uh, the first thing I want to hit up here is, of course, the stats versus sets. Now, as you guys know, when it comes to this type of game, right, you're going to be collecting these champions, ascending them, evolving, but more importantly, equipping them, right? The artifacts are super important, as we stated before in the previous video here. you got to get that high-quality artifact so you can get yourself, be able to push yourself through those higher stages of the match. And now, if you guys haven't had a chance to really dive in because you've been focusing on the campaign, as you guys know, the campaign, uh, moving through it, you're going to have the chance to get yourself some certain types of artifacts for specific stages right each each certain like storyline or chapter is going to have specific artifacts but if you want to get a chance to pull any of them uh, they're going to be available for you uh, for the from these three dungeons here we got the ice golem's peak with the dragon slayer and we got the fire knight's castle now the uh, the big thing that i see now with beginners is once they get into this game they know that the dungeon aspect is what we're going to be doing you know uh, late to end game that's what we're going to be doing we got to get that high level four to six star uh, artifacts here so we can equip our champions and just have the best of the best gear right but the concept of stats versus sets is still very, very important. And believe it or not, guys, you don't have to uh, jump into the dungeons right away uh, to get you know the best, you know, best of the best gear here. You can get the job done when it comes to the to the campaign because those basic sets that you're going to be starting out with, the life set, the defense set, all those basic sets that you can obtain through the main stages here are going to be easy for you to get. And if you're looking for a specific one, um, you can focus on that, right? If you want the uh, attack weapon uh, for a life set, you can go to stage one. If you want the boost, maybe you're trying to get a speed boot but you want that extra 15 percent uh hp from the two set bonus of life you can go to the uh stage six here so you can be specific on which ones you want uh if you're working on the campaign but down the road uh we need to we need to go ahead and collect those you know level them up a little bit so that we can go ahead and move our way into the dungeons and get some of the higher grade uh items that are really really going to be nice and not just the four the you know one to two star the two star to three star three star to four star artifacts but also we want the rare uh, artifacts we want the legendary artifacts and that's what we're going to be getting from dungeons now getting back to the main point here okay stats versus sets as you guys know a lot of these beginner sets that you're going to be able to obtain are going to be two set pieces right so we're going to get a ton of value from those sets just by equipping it so if you guys are kind of on the fence of like oh you know i'm really looking to get you know those three star four star things but maybe i just got started out maybe i'm still really low you know, low level on my account here just you know focus on the campaign get yourself those basic sets here get the stat bonuses that you can obtain from those sets so that you can get yourself a nice little boost in your overall stats now i would be uh crazy to say that that's not going to be the same for every single unit now the cool thing about this is that you're going to find out real, real quick that there's going to be certain units out there that really benefit from having specific sets, sets that provide them some additional mechanic uh, to, uh, you know, assist your team in getting the job done here. So 
uh, today, what I wanted to focus on was a set that I put on uh, my Yaga, which actually uh, is extremely important. I think it's going to be a really, really good set for beginners out there. So uh, Yaga, the Insatiable, again, if you guys saw, I know that everybody's going to be hitting me in the chat already because this one happens to be your 60 reward and I got it early. I got it in the summer. Like, yeah, I know. I get it. it, it it's, it's rough, but it is what it is. I'm actually excited. No regrets because this, act, this, this unit is really, really good. Now, um, the thing of it is, is that uh, when it comes to those sets, right, uh, the one the one that I feel like uh, is going to get underrated by a lot of beginners out there uh, is the Retaliation set. Now, if you guys haven't checked this out, the Retaliation set is a set that provides a 25% chance to counterattack when hit. Now, again, you guys are probably thinking, oh my gosh, that's 25% chance. That's not really a whole lot here. But depending on what the unit can do, uh, can make it extremely valuable for you. Some of these units have such amazing skill and abilities that it's crazy not to take full advantage of it. And we're actually gonna go ahead and hop in a clan boss here uh, to go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So uh, his first skill, Viral and Cleaver here, attacks the enemy, has a 40% chance of providing a 5% poison debuff for two turns here. So again, uh, this is really, really nice because obviously depending on what we're gonna be doing, uh, which of course today in today's video, we're gonna be focusing on the clan boss here. You're gonna soon realize that poison debuff is extremely valuable in increasing the overall damage you can do. So, but that's just one unit that we're talking about here. One of the other units that I have, um, Banshee here. Now I'm not running a, I'm not running a retaliation set on her, but take a look at this first ability here. Attacks all enemies, 20% chance to provide a 30% defense uh, bu debuff for one turn here. So we're we're literally giving a unit a chance to provide us a counterattack that provides. Uh, not only ways of doing damage to all the units, you know, in that stage, but also providing an extra chance for defense breaks, which is in turn going to assist our damage, improve our damage uh, during that time. So, I mean, you think about it, some of these skills, some of these abilities that are really, really nice that you only can provide, you know, you only can do, you know, every two to three turns or every three to five turns, being able to have that counterattack type ability is really, really strong and is essentially just free debuffs or free damage for your party. So keep that in mind, guys. If you happen to get yourself a retaliation set, I encourage you to go ahead and take advantage of it, but obviously take a close look at whichever units or champions really, really benefit you when it comes to creating that perfect synergistic team for those dungeons, okay? Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this time here. I want to focus on it. I want to get it done right now. I mean, we got a couple of things to talk about, but as you can see, I'm kind of uh, moving right along here. This tournament, I don't know if you guys have seen this one, but this is going to be different for you when you see it. Um, the tournament that we got going on right now uh, is a champion chase tournament. So basically, all we got to do is summon, uh, collect shards uh, through the market that it summons. I mean, anywhere you can get them, right? Uh, we'll be able to get some points here. So take a look. We actually got 600 uh, and one points here. Uh, we're currently second place right now. And if we get the number one spot, we are going to get legendary relentless artifact time six. So I have, I, I'm, I, we were just talking about the quality of gear, right? Being able to get it. So, you know, you know that we're going to be doing some summons here. So I'm not going to waste any time right now. We got four minutes to pop all of our summons here. We still have yet to pull a, a five star champion here. So maybe we'll get lucky. Um, let me know uh, what you guys think on it. Now, again, I, I want to go through all these units here. But because of the fact that we got to get through the tournament, uh, look at that, 1,000 points. I think that did it right there. 1,000 points, I think, just gave us enough. Wait a minute. That's a fire star. <laughs> Dude, we just got a fire. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, <laughs> I didn't even notice. Oh, my God. That is so crazy. Okay, okay. Okay. I think that's literally enough to get ahead of the game here. But, oh, my God. We got a fire star. Oh, God, I cannot believe it. That's the crazy thing about these ten, like these ten pools. Like sometimes you can seriously miss it if you're not really looking at it. Okay, so arrow. Let's go ahead and we're gonna take a look at him. You know, after this, let's go ahead and check out. We gotta check out the time here. Okay, three minutes. Oh my god, we got a five star. I can't even look at it because we're trying to get through this tournament. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's let's go ahead. Let's run through this here. Let's go ahead and click it. Oh my god, we got a five star. I I, I could even I couldn't even look at it. I couldn't even look at it because we're so in time, so so clutch for time here. And of course, guys, I know that for those of you guys who have been watching my channel for quite some time, you're like, man, why in the world would you wait uh, for the last like 13 minutes or whatever before you start this? Well, I'm sure you guys can already guess. I had about 30, 35 minutes, 40 minutes, uh, but obviously I had to make sure that everything was set in place when it comes to these videos here. And uh, I had to get my notes ready and all that stuff to make sure that uh, I didn't forget anything for this video. So once again, guys, for those of you that are, that are seeing the pools and are like, hey, wait a minute, stop right there, Childish. 
these are this is a good unit you got to look at it let me know in the comment section down below which one i need to hold on okay because i'm really looking uh, forward to hearing your feedback on that all right so let's see where we're at two minutes and 38 seconds uh we are at set. look at it we don't even have to rush it look at that we're killing it we're killing it john we ain't got nothing on us okay but we're gonna go ahead and do it right now we're gonna move through it we, we we're just gonna finish off the summons okay and then we're gonna get into that clan boss oh man dude feels good man feels good okay uh armored ar armoring teen skeleton okay okay again have not seen this one have not seen this one before uh let's see 80 percent chance to block cooldown uh, let's see, 30% chance to block bus. So again, a, a beneficial beneficial effect blocker. You gotta love that there. And then of course, an ability that provides defense buff on this champion for two does. Kind of, kind of a, seems like a selfish unit there for that defense buff. Why can't they give it to the team? But hey, it's all good. It's all good. All right, let's take a look at this one. Skirmisher. Have not heard anything about this one, but this one will do more damage with no active debuffs here. Okay, second skill. Just gonna be able to uh, decrease the turn meter by 20% if the attack is critical. So we're gonna stack critical on this one. And then this one has an AoE stripping ability. So that might be nice. That might be nice for maybe some arena, uh, arena offense here. I might be able to check it out here. So again, still haven't pulled a a yeah we still haven't pulled any uh four star voids but that's okay centurion is this one good defense scaling ability okay so this is the first one we got defense scaling here's a champion so it got its own uh essentially it got its own life steal built into it and then this one here uh has a chance to uh and buff his own defense so that's actually really nice so that's just going to help his damage out overall Really, really cool. And then exchanging the remaining HP levels of target enemy that equalizes it. Well. So this is a really nice ba like HP balancing ability here. And I think that works really well with defense scaling units. But you guys tell me, but you guys probably know it better than I do. Um, oh, oh, four star. Okay, okay, okay. We got some good. So Gala Long Braids. Okay, okay. Let's take a look at this one. So my first four star Void Champion. Attacks the enemy two times. Each hit ignores 30% of the target's defense. Place the shield buff on the champion and the value of the champion is equal to 20%. Wow. Wow. Okay, this one here. Attacks when it ignores 50% of the target's defense when attacking under a shield buff. Wow. <laughs> okay. What? You got to be kidding me, dude. This all abilities ignore the target's defense. Like, did we literally just pull one of the best void champions out there? Like, let me know, guys. Let me know. 25% attack leader skill. Wow wow okay last but not least will we get ourselves another five star champion i don't know no nope, we won't this time but that's okay it's okay we already pulled one we already pulled one so this time around we got doom priest so this one has a passive here heals all allies by seven percent of their hp and removes one random debuff at the start of the champions of the start of this champion's turn so that that is pretty op if you think about it considering it's a passive and it happens every single time they start their turn um, then we got a 50% uh, attack buff for all turns. I mean, that is really, really nice. Okay. And attacks the enemy if it's critical. 15% uh, critical rate buff on, on a random ally for two turns. Okay. I like Doom Priest. I think that one's pretty good. I think I think the summoning session overall was amazing here. The last thing I want to talk about here, okay, is the clan boss. Now, I've had a chance of uh, joining the clan so we can test this one out here. And once again, we're going to be bringing in a team that is has quite a handful of uh, poison effects here now it looks like somebody already uh cleared this boss out that was the one i was going to go for but we'll go ahead and try the hard one we'll see how hard it is this is probably going to hurt a little bit but it is what it is right all right so let's go ahead and hop on in here uh let me click on this one and let me go ahead and do the battle and then we'll go ahead and get this one started so i'm just going to bring my regular team here so what we're running okay we got our l thing we got we got our kale we got yaga we got our Apothecary that we just recently pulled. And then, of course, we got Mother Superior that we've been using for a healer uh, since we got started. That's been our main healer this far here. So we're just going to run in there. We're not going to get too uh, technical with it. I just want to kind of see if we can get some of that crazy damage and maybe even some counterattacks here um, You know, when we first get started here. So this is one of those units that has a crazy high HP pool. And the cool thing about these clan bosses, or at least this one here, is that you can take uh, full advantage of those poison debuffs here. So... Uh, if we can actually land one, this might be a little bit hard because now um, we're going to have that. We're not going to have that ability. This is a hard boss, right? So he probably has a position. So you can see right now, uh, I did land a poison. I just did 20,000 damage with that poison. And I've been hitting the unit for, uh, I've been hitting the unit for what? 1,300, 3,000 there? Not a lot of damage. So that's what I'm talking about here. Not just being able to provide 
you know, uh, units with abilities that really make sense when it comes to these bosses, taking full advantage of those poison effects, but also uh, being able to get that counterattack in to get uh, the possibility of an additional, you know, 20,000 damage from Yaga here. So really, really nice right there. Get, there it is right there, getting the counterattack in, getting the poison, 40% uh, chance to land it in, and of course that can improve uh, when we get, you know, when we uh, level up that first skill here. So I can tell you what, man, I'm really, really excited. Like I said, even though it is a... 60-day uh, reward. I'm super excited that I got him really early because this one has been super beneficial for me to get damage. The first time I ever did the clan boss, I got about 200,000, uh, 200,050 damage, and then I pulled Yaga, uh, leveled him up, put the artifacts on for the uh, for the retaliation, and literally got my first like 975,000 uh, damage mark here. I mean, we do we just killed it. We, we just catapulted our DPS simply. For the concept of those of those poisons and the counterattack to get those additional poisons here. So yeah, as you guys can see, I'm barely hanging in there right now, using my apothecary to give myself quite a bit of attack bar boost, give myself speed over time, and then also using my mother priest to give me those heals when I need it. Now the cool thing about it is that apothecary also provides uh, a heal on the second skill, so we have that single target heal from apothecary, and then of course uh, mother superior has uh, two heals. Two heals here, so this is going to be really nice. Here, so come on now. Yes, again, a lot of good damage, but as you can see, we're losing a couple of units here. Not too much we could do, um, but let's just see kind of how far we can last on this one. Uh, oh, nice there. We got a lot of damage here. So yeah, Kale, for those who don't know, can do a ton of damage on the first skill uh, for poison, and then the third skill uh, also has a, an attack that hits four times at random. So really, really nice uh, because those have a chance to hit. Uh, those have a chance to land poison as well. So this one here, not as much damage, but that's to be understood, right? We went on a hard boss versus the easy boss, right? Or the normal boss. So we kind of we, we kind of realized that we're not going to be doing, you know, that much damage. Let's go ahead and get back to that five star champion. Gosh, it's so it, it, feel, it feels so bad. It's like we pull a five star, like oh yeah, we'll take a look at it later, right? Okay, okay, let's take a look at this one, right? Arrow legendary attack champion from the Sacred Order faction. Okay, so let's take a look at the skills and abilities here. Blazing Sword attacks the enemy one time as a 30% extra 30% chance of inflicting a critical hit. So he can do some big numbers there. Next one up here, this one attacks the enemy three times has a 30% chance of inflicting a critical hit. And this one also has a chance, uh, similar to that four star uh, Void Champion that we're looking at, um, to ignore defense as well. And then Negation, okay, removes all buffs from target enemy and attacks the target. Has a 30% chance of landing a critical hit. And then when this is ascended, this will steal all the buffs from the target enemy and then attacks the target. It has a 30% chance of inflicting a critical hit. So this one's going to be really, really nice when I'm building it uh, with a high crit damage uh, because we have so many ways of getting that critical, critical rate from the skills that it'll be a little bit easier uh, to have a consistent amount of damage uh, over time here. So um, this one will be pretty interesting. I do not think I have anybody uh, that does any strippers. Let me know uh, in the comment section though, is this one pretty good or what do you guys feel for this? Because I, I can already tell right now there's a quite, a quite a handful of mechanics out there that I can think of that these bosses have you know, a ton of beneficial effects here. So we're going to be able to take full advantage of this, but I'm curious to see what you guys would rate this one. Is this high up there? Is this not? Let me know your thoughts on that. So uh, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all so much for your support once again for watching these videos. And then once again, I want to give a big shout out to Polarian for sponsoring this video. If you guys happen to catch this video at the end and maybe didn't see the first part here, let me go ahead and remind you which is in store for the new players here, okay? So if you guys are looking to download this game, check it out. Go ahead and check out that link in the description down below. Install the game for free so you can get yourself the 100,000 silver, 50 gems, the energy refill, and of course the Executioner Champion. But remember, full disclosure, that link is only going to be available for 30 days and it is for new players, okay? That is going to be it, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's your boy Childish, Childish Plays, checking out. Take care, and we will see you all in the next video for Raid Shadow Legends. I'm out.